Today I'm going to demo how to predict stock prices with SQL Server Analysis Services mining models, DMX, and C Sharp. We'll then touch on how to update this model as new data becomes available to the model. Mining structures have been available in SQL Server since SQL Server 2000. The ability to create mining structures such as decision trees, logistic regression, naive bays, and MS neural networks are just a few that were available in the early 2000s. Today we'll use a time series mining structure which was added in 2008. There are a few prerequisites we'll need for this. SQL Server Analysis Services Multidimensional, SQL Server Data Tools, and Visual Studio 2015. You will need SQL Server Multidimensional. Tabular and Power Pivot Mode will not work for this. Um, in the demo, I'll be using Data Tools 2010, SSMS 2012, and SSAS 2016. As you can see, I have a basic stock market data set. It contains the symbol, date, and closing price, which will be used to train our model. In this demo, I'll use stocks, but this example could also be used to predict product sales or other types of price performance. If you're following along at home, don't bet the farm on your predictions. Predicting stocks requires much more. We'll start by opening SQL Server Data Tools. Create a new Analysis Services Multidimensional Project. Right-click Data Sources in the Solution Explorer and create a connection to your data source. It can be SQL Server, Oracle, or many other data sources. Now we'll create a data source view. This is the query used against your data source. This could be views, tables, cubes, queries, whatever. I'm going to select the stock price table from earlier. I'll also double check my deployment destination and make sure I'm connected to the proper analysis server. Right click the mining structures and create a new mining structure. You'll see there are many different types of structures here. Association rules, clustering, decision trees, linear regression, logistic regression, naive bays, MS neural nets, sequence clustering, and time series. Time series is the structure we'll be using today. Click Next. Now you need training data. Select the data source view with our stocks table that we created earlier. Select Case. Click Next. Now we'll configure our training data. For a prediction, we'll only need three items, the date, closing price, and symbol. You want to use date and symbol as the key. This will allow us to view our prediction by series or by stock symbol. Click Next. Content types. Here you can specify the nature of your data. For example, you'll specify whether your fields are discrete, continuous, or key values. Click Next and then Finish. And last, we want to add a user to this mining model who can access, train, and process the model. Right-click Roles and create a new role. Add yourself to this role. Now that our model is configured, let's train it. Right-click your project name and click Process. Visual Studio will ask if you want to deploy this project to your server. Click Yes and then click Run. If all's green and well, click on the Mining Model Viewer. You should see your new model. You can change the prediction steps in the top right and see the changes in real time. OK, let's query our model. Open up SSMS, connect to your SSAS server, right-click your model database and click New Query. Select DMX. Now we'll select a prediction from our model using the Predict Time Series function. DMX is the data mining extension language used to query analysis services mining models. Select Flatten Predict Time Series the closing price and 12 steps out as our prediction. From stocks where symbol equals MSFT. And there's our data set. We're now going to take this query and use it in a C Sharp app, which just prints the results to the screen. Open Visual Studio, create a new project. For this, I'll create a console app and call it Stock Market 100 Air. Let's add references to the OLEDB libraries. Now we'll copy and paste our DMX SQL string into a variable named DMX. Let's create an OLEDB connection. The fields you want are data source, provider, initial catalog, cube, and the credentials. Open the connection, create an OLEDB command, pass the command, the DMX string, and connection object from earlier. Now let's iterate through the OLEDB data reader and print the results to the screen. And our results look good. As time goes by, your source table will most likely continue to store new price data. This data can be used to periodically train your model. There are many ways to process a mining model. I'll briefly walk you through using a SQL Server agent job. First, open SQL Server Management Studio. 
Connect to your analysis services database in the Object Explorer. Right-click your database, click Process. Once the window pops up, click on the Script drop-down menu in the Process Database window. Then choose Script Action to Clipboard. We're going to paste this action into our SQL Server agent job. Go to your database engine with your agent, create a new job, choose SQL Server Analysis Services command as the type, enter your server information, and paste the code we just copied from the process window. Click OK, right click and run your job to test it. Now you can schedule that job whenever you like to retrain your model.